morning and please excuse my makeshift curtain situation. This old drop cloth is just what I'm working with while I figure out what I want to do with this space but I'm just starting my day here in the way that I usually do by writing a line a day in this notebook that my mum got me last year and I just find it so interesting to be able to look back on all the little moments and memories from each day and I think when I'm done with this book in five years I'll have such a cool little snapshot of the changes in my life. On this day a year ago Ozzy and I set up a little scavenger hunt for Thierry for his birthday leaving his favourite treats dotted around in different parts of the flat so that means it is little T's sixth birthday today and he of course had to appear on the video to get as much attention as he possibly could. The next thing I do is just plan out my day, just write down the top three things that I want to get done and leave a little bit of space on the side where I can add any little tasks that pop up throughout the day that don't fit into my main tasks. And now I am going to get to work on something in my sketchbook. I'm actually going to be working on a painting that I hope to turn into a print for Patreon. I want to do something kind of interesting for this month's reward bundle and see if I can make this a sort of foiled design. So I want to have like metallic gold on there if possible. But first, of course, I need to take a reference picture. All right, now it's time to work through some admin and emails, loads of emails. And I know that if I don't get this done before lunchtime, it just isn't gonna get done throughout the rest of the day. So I'm gonna try and power through all of these. And then hopefully before lunch, I'll also have time to work on my monthly Patreon newsletter. got as much done as I had hoped to get done at this stage in the day but that's kind of typical at the moment I'm still in that like post move chaos just doing my best to catch up on everything stage so I'm giving myself grace also I got like three hours total sleep last night so I feel like I'm allowed to go a little bit slower today but I got the newsletter posted and I had a little lunch in between but because that wasn't a proper lunch break I just ate at my desk which is kind of what I usually do I've decided to take a break now and what I'm doing during my work breaks is getting on with something around the house and on a normal day that would be like doing the washing up, folding some clothes, but because we are still very much post move, there are lots of like little snagging tasks to do here and there. And today's task, we have a new washing machine, which is very exciting, very adulting. It's my first ever like big appliance purchase. And it's great 
but there's an issue with the drainage, the way that the drainage is set up. So I am gonna attempt to fix it. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Should I probably get some professional help? Probably, but I am gonna just give it a go, see what I can do myself first. Just wish me luck. <laughs> and I will probably, I should probably turn off our water supply before I get started. I think I've done it. Nothing is leaking. I suppose only time will tell. I will keep a close eye on all of this throughout the day, but it wasn't a disaster. And sometimes that is all you can hope for. Now for the rest of the day, I've got about three hours of my work day left and I'm gonna spend all of that time working on chipping away at a massive commission that I've got going on at the moment. I've got 81 illustrations to do in total, but I'm hopeful that today I can at least tick another two off that number. Now I've had a lot of days where I've worked into the night on this project just because it is a fun one. It is really interesting and I'm really enjoying the subject matter of the paintings, but I have to finish at a decent time today because I'm heading out for dinner with a friend who I haven't seen in a while. So I'm just gonna see how much I can fit into the next few hours. Unfortunately, I can't show you any of the artwork, not yet at least, just because uh, it's between myself and the client for now, but hopefully you'll be able to see it some point soon. And in the meantime, if I'm ever talking about how busy I am or how much work I've got on, this is probably what I'm talking about. Uh-huh.